Are you a new musician that's trying to book their first gig? I can help you do that. I'm a performing musician. I've played over 170 shows. I have no manager. I have no record label. I have no one supporting my music except for myself. So I have done it on my own from scratch, learning the hard way. And I've got some tips that I guarantee you, as long as you have some musical talent, I can get you paid to play your first show. Number one tip is be gig ready. If you if you suck, if you're not a good musician, you're not gonna book a show. But what, what do I mean by this? You need to have music ready to go. You gotta play songs all the way through and you've gotta have the lyrics available. My favorite lyric apps that I use on my iPad is Ultimate Guitar or Songbook Pro. I recently switched to Songbook Pro because I bought a pedal that can switch through the pages for me so I never have to touch my device when I'm playing. I would recommend getting, I don't know, if you're doing three hours of music, you're going to want at least 40 to 50 songs depending on how long the songs are, learning all of those, and then marketing yourself to different restaurants. The question is, how are we going to do that? Well, step two is build an online presence. You're going to want something showing that you're actually pretty decent. For me, when I did my website, that was the moment my career started to take off. I said to people, yeah, I can give you my website. It just feels more official than Facebook page or an Instagram account or a YouTube channel. Um, especially if you have a YouTube channel with 20 subscribers, what restaurant's going to want to book you? You have 20 subs. Who's going to come to this show? So when you have a website, it just feels like, wow, this person really cares. I do mine on Squarespace. It's like 180 bucks a year. Sounds like a ton, but when you consider you'll make that in one gig, most likely, and if not, you need to charge more, it's actually your very worthwhile investment. What would I recommend doing? Post 10 videos online of you singing and playing your instrument as high as quality as you can possibly make it. Honestly, just get your phone out and record. Anymore nowadays, if you have a decent smartphone, you'll be able to get some decent videos out there. Use a basic editing software, keep it tight, keep it interesting, and then ask your friends and family to subscribe and follow your pages too. Any kind of online presence is gonna help. Step three, you're gonna wanna network. You've gotta put yourself out there and make it clear that you're looking to start performing live. So that could be making Facebook and Instagram posts or saying so in a YouTube video, you're gonna want want to let people know. Tell your mom, your dad, your aunt, your uncle, your cousin Vinny who has a restaurant. Those are the people you want to make connections with. People are going to book you for a few different reasons. One, because you're an insanely good artist. Two, because you bring an insanely large crowd. Or three, and most likely because they like you as a person. If they like you as a person and they connect with you, they're going to hook you up. You're going to want to target the right audience. Like who who's going to hire you? When you're trying to book a show, you need to find who you're going to talk to. So you're going to look for the right audience, the restaurant owners, the winery owners, the bar owners. You also need to ask yourself, what's the best venue for my music? If you're playing country music, a good old country bar is going to be great for you. I don't think a high class jazz club is the right fit if you're going to be singing Garth Brooks songs and drinking songs that are set to country tunes. You're going to want to find the right venue for your music, right? If you're going to do background music, or are you going to be center stage crushing it? Now, I'll be honest, starting off, you're going to be background music and it's okay. So just to review really quick, step one, you're going to be gig ready. Step two, you're going to build your online presence. Step three, you're going to network, network, network with as many people as you can. Step four, you're going to find the appropriate venue for your music. Step Step five, you're going to reach out to the venues and you're going to ask them to either hire you or allow you to play there. For your first couple gigs, I would highly recommend reaching out and saying, hey, I'm a new musician. I'm looking for places to perform. I would be willing to perform my first show for you free. I'm convinced that after I do that, you'll want to hire me for more. Helpful tip, if they don't do live music, don't ask them. Unless it's someone you know personally, like your uncle's restaurant, don't ask them. Only ask venues that already do music. You could also ask a band to let you do their break. Anything you can do to get started, do that. That. This is how I started off my first two gigs I offered to do for completely free. And ironically, at the end of the night, both restaurants were like, you did a great job, we're going to pay you anyways. So it was low risk for them. They didn't have to pay me, but they ended up doing it. In fact, I'll never forget my first gig. The guy paid me 185 bucks for two hours. And I was like, what? I can make decent money doing this? Let's go. So I kept booking gigs from there. That's when it got challenging though. And that goes to step six, which is remember, persistence pays off. When I first started in 2019, actually I did 2018 was my first gig, but it was like November. So 2019 was like my first putting myself out there. I called 72 restaurants and wineries and bars. I literally spent hours. I called each one and I emailed each one. Only one of them booked me. So then people told me, oh, you need to go in person. And still only one of them booked me. It takes a long time 
time for people to want to hire you when they don't have a clue who you are. Now, I'm at a point where people call me and I have literally for the first time in my career had to tell people no because I'm too busy. That took a long time and there was a lot of self-doubt there. My channel used to have five subscribers. Now I have 1,500. That looks a lot more appealing, right? I have a fan base a little bit that's going to help me book a show, especially in Indiana where the music scene isn't killer or competitive like Nashville, California, Florida. Please hear me when I say this. I was not that great when I started. I had a lot of room to grow. I booked my first gig and had six 16 songs and literally was like, oh crap, I can't fill two hours. So I talked a lot. Like I just kind of like sat there and strummed my guitar for like 20 minutes. I highly recommend if you can play an instrument and sing pretty well that you book your first gig. It's a good way to make money. It's a good side hustle. It's extremely rewarding and it will make you grow so fast because you know you're doing this in front of people now. And that is exciting. So hopefully this helped you. I try to make content as helpful and concise as possible. Good luck in your music and take it easy.